guys, Lacey and Anthony here for D News. We've been doing holiday experiments over the last couple days if you haven't been checking them out. And now that the holidays are over, there's probably a lot of decorative stuff That's lying right. around in your house. Like some poinsettia plants. We're gonna show you how to actually make litmus paper out of a poinsettia. Right, and if you've never heard of litmus paper, basically it's so that you can test the pH of any given substance. So in case you're hanging out around the house and you're like, gee, I wonder what the pH of my coffee is. Boom. You're happens done. to me all the time. What you're gonna do is uh, take, how many of these leaves? Take, take a good chunk of leaves, Yeah, right? just take a few leaves and then you wanna cut them up. Basically, we're going to be steeping these leaves just like tea. So once you've got these broken up, you wanna put them into a container and we're gonna steep them. So we have some boiling water, you could stick it in a microwave, whatever works. And basically, the amount of time you wanna leave these in here is just until the solution is turned totally red or until the leaves don't have any color anymore. We did one for 20 minutes and it worked. It really just kinda of depends on how many leaves you got in there. Once it's soaked and these, all the color's gone from these, you can just pour this through Boop. like this. Strain it out. Because what we're after is just that water with all the stuff that creates the pigmentation in the poinsettia. And we actually have, we have some, some of the soya. solution right here. So our litmus paper is gonna be made out of coffee filters. So all you wanna do is submerge this in your poinsettia elixir and let that soak, get all absorbed. After you soak those for a while, you actually want to uh, dry them out Yep. a little bit. Let them dry, you can, you can put them in a microwave for about a minute and it should come out. Or blow dry. Or yeah. Whatever. Just have them looking like this. Yep, we'll get nice and crispy again, and then these are going to make up your litmus strips. So we're gonna cut them into little strips. And then we have a basic solution and an acidic solution that we're gonna be testing. Them yeah, so you can do this at home with, uh, this is just baking soda and water, and this is vinegar. You can also do it with lemon juice, and now we'll see if it worked. So this is the, that is the base. basic solution, which should turn. Boom. Boom, blue, looking good. And then we have our acidic solution. Mm -hmm. And so look little, at that. <laughs> it's a little less dramatic because <laughs> the acids are more towards the red side of the spectrum. Right. It's already red, but, but if you look at the bottom there, you can see that the liquid, there's like a bunch of red down here. And you can tell that is an acidic solution. So this is sort of a fun little experiment that you can do at home. You can test out all the different liquids in your cabinets, in your fridge, and you can see what the pH of all of them are. We did a much more uh, dangerous and not low-key yeah. experiment. Not well, low-key at all. We're mixing chemicals and fire and everything that you really shouldn't mix. So really. check that out. And then we also made some crystal snowflake ornaments yeah, with actual cool. growing crystals. Yeah. So that's check cool. Them out. Check them out. And be sure you subscribe so you can get more D News updates in the future. We'll see you later, guys.